Welcome to Farm Connections with your host, Dan Hoffman. We're still at the Hay and Forage Expo in Canna Falls, Minnesota, and with me is Cole Carling of Case IH. Cole, welcome. Thanks, Dan. Well, tell the audience in Farm Connections what's happening up here at Cannon Falls at the Hay and Ag Expo. So here at the Hay and Forage Expo today, what we've been doing is all, a lot of different manufacturers have come set up some booths here at the lots. Mm -hmm. And it's an opportunity for prospective customers and current customers to come look at the new technology, look at the new machines, see what we're out promoting, and then also see the demos we're doing out in the field. Cole, what makes your technology special? Well, there's a lot of different things Case IH is involved in when it comes to technology. One of the big ones we have going on today is auto guidance. We're using auto guidance in our tractors, our combines, our sprayers, and now in our windrowers. So now as an operator, instead of you sitting in the machine and stressing out as you drive it 10 hours a day cutting hay, you have the ability to set your auto guidance, set an AB line. You can make perfect 16 foot or 15 and a half foot swaths. You can sit in the cab, hit start, and listen to the radio, check out how your machine's doing, and it makes your job as an operator a lot easier. Well, Cole, in the past when we wanted to monitor moisture, we would either go out and do a crumple test or take the forage to a remote site or have a remote or bring an instrument with us and check the moisture. You said do it on the fly. How do you do that? Well, here's what we have. With our balers now, our large square balers, we have the ability to put an RFID chip directly on the bale. Here's an example of what it is. So what happens is, as you run that baler, it's going to read what the moisture level is of the bale, it's going to read the time that the bale was made, the date, all that information, it's going to load it onto that chip. That chip is then wrapped around the bale on the string and it's dropped in the field. As the operator comes by and picks up the bales, he has this sensor that will read that information, it keeps track of it. As he puts it in the stack at his yard, it's going to sit there. Then as he ships that hay out to his customer, whether they're selling it to a dairy or he's feeding it to his own cows, he can read it off the loader with this sensor and he can tell what bales he is feeding to his animals. This is going to tell you the relative feed value of the hay. It's going to tell you, like I said, the moisture level, the date that it was done baled, the time, the field. It's going to put all that information in there. Another advantage it's going to have for you as an operator is if you have different quality of hay as some of it was rained on and you bale it with this, or if you have a young crop over here that you bale, you have the ability to keep track of those bales and as you unload them off the truck, you can stack them and sort them according to the quality of feed. Then when you're feeding your cows, you have the ability to know how you want to mix your rations to maximize the milk output of those animals. Thank you, Cole. Thank you, Dan. Great information.